I'm going to cuss, so deal with it, because this deserves to be read in its entirety, because this is it. This is the answer. This is the solution. Ferguson unrest. Protesters last shot at Obama and Sharpton. You haven't changed nothing. Fuck y'all. This is the answer. This is what we need to be saying. Trust me, there is going to be an epic. I'm just waiting for the right time, man. I am going to go into one of my town hall meetings. I already know when they are. I looked them up a couple months ago. I'm just waiting for the perfect time. And man, when I go in there, I am going to fucking rip an asshole that has never been ripped before. And it's going to be on camera. I'm going to do my best to have my wife tape it because I'm going to go down there and I'm going to lay an epic beat down on every motherfucker that's in that room. You better fucking believe I'm going to. I've had enough of this shit. I got arrested last year for asking a fucking question at a bank. I've got open borders. I've got a bullshit Ebola virus going on. I've got congressmen calling for martial law. Why have video documented proof that they didn't bring no damn military tanks from Maryland to drive them on St. Louis streets for driver's ed? Because they were preparing for this. What we need, what we need is we need proof that these riots were allowed to happen. Because this thing blew up overnight whenever they started rioting and looting. What we need is proof. And there's already murmur on the internet that these riots were allowed to happen. When you take the act of 1871 in there and say this country, as well as every other country, has been bought out by some private banksters, don't even mention the satanic stuff, some private bankers who don't give a shit about anybody and pledge no allegiance to anybody, and you prove that with the bonus, or the bonus army of 1932, how our own World War veterans were booted off with force by martial law off the White House lawn because they wanted the money that they were promised. We tell those guys in the in the in the government at the town hall meetings, you ain't done nothing, you ain't changed nothing. I'm paying four and a half dollars for milk. I work at a grocery store, it just went up last week and people are getting pissed. Four dollars and fourteen cents for the generic store brand, four dollars and forty cents for the name brand. So you ain't all ain't changing nothing, fuck y'all. That's what we need to do.